Right now, the entire internet is in turmoil. They are getting agitated. They are going insane at the current events that are transpiring right now when it comes to Unity. The fact that every Unity game upon a installation, not a not a purchase, an installation <laughs> is going to result in Unity being paid by the game developer that uses their engine. This is a laughable concept. It is hilarious that these people are so greedy, so paras parasitic, so insane that they are actually trying to make this a thing. Now, there's some like debate to be had that they're gonna walk this back and like do something like less extreme. There have been like there's been some speculation on that already, but like the way it's looking right now, the fact that they even brought this up as a thing is hilarious to me. But every other YouTuber on the planet is probably covering the situation right now. We're not every other YouTube channel, okay? We are Suda51 fanboys. The the name of the channel is Harmon Smith, based on one of the greatest video game characters ever, right? Like, why would I not talk about the elephant in the room, the thing that nobody else is going to bring up, the thing that I find hysterical about this, the thing that I don't think anybody, aside from maybe like a, uh, a key handful of people, are going to notice or bring up, is that like John Riccatello is the CEO of Unity. The man behind this decision, <laughs> the man behind one of the greatest video game schemes of, this, of the decade, you know, John Riccatello is the same guy who was at EA overseeing like Shadows of the Dam, you know, Suda51's project, right? Suda hated this guy so much he wrote him into Travis Strikes Again and No More Heroes 3, like, as a major antagonist. He is the final boss of No More Heroes 3. <laughs> like, Suda tried to warn you guys. He tried to tell you, don't trust John Riccatello. Don't trust this guy. He's a snake. You know, 10 years ago, people were talking about how EA was terrible, how they were, like, doing, mistreating all these developers and pulling all this, all these shady stunts. In reality, it was probably just this guy, right? John Riccatello was behind everything. And now that he's in, he's, like, heading up Unity, now that he's behind this situation, it's only going to get worse. And... I cannot begin to tell you guys. I can't emphasize this enough. Suda is based. Suda tried to warn you. Suda tried to show you what a terrible person John Riccatello is. He tried demonstrating, like, the fact that he's a corporate tool who, like, abuses women and, like, has no no understanding or respect for, like, the, the business he's, he's a part of. Like, Suda tried to tell you. Right? And what did you do? You spat in his face. You tried to give Stra Travis Strikes again poor reviews. You tried to say that No More Heroes 3 doesn't, doesn't live up to the legacy of the original. You tried so hard to say this game wasn't culturally significant. And what happens? Like, reality proves you wrong again. Right. Like I cannot like begin to emphasize just just how much this situation means to me on a personal level, not because I care about unity or like the indie developers or like the uh, the studios who like you use the engine or, or, or are going to uh, be forced to pay a fine. A like. Apparently, like I, I, I don't care about that. What I care about is that like this guy has had a long track record of pulling some of the shadiest stunts in gaming history, right? To the point where he might be one of my least favorite CEO, uh, CEOs in the industry that, I, that I'm aware of, right? You know, forget, like, forget Randy Pitchford, uh, Pitchford. forget, like, Gabe, forget, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Naughty Dog Guy, uh, Neil Druckmann, like, forget those jokers, like, who, who's the real villain here? Who is, like, actively sabotaging, like, great video game products by great people like Suda51 and, like, and uh, Shinji Mikabe, right? Like, who is, like, 
pulling all these stunts at EA, at Unity, who is like making the industry objectively worse? Like, I, I can't think of anyone that I know of who's uh, doing a more like bang up job of that than John Riccatello. Right? <laughs> like, I cannot think of anyone who has pulled this many stunts that are just like over the hill, just, just completely insane. Like, it, it, it just boggles the mind seeing what this guy is trying to pull and i'm sure his, i'm sure his career isn't over like i'm sure like we're gonna see more more and more examples of this uh more and more more and more instances of like john riccatello like being a no more heroes 3 antagonist right like we're, we're gonna get this like are, are we gonna like realize that like foo is like out there somewhere as well was was suda like foreshadowing that as well too? like I don't know. Okay, like maybe maybe he already has food. Like we're we're just waiting for like Travis to come out and like deal with him. But like it's it's crazy. It, it is it is crazy to uh, to see this happen. Like in real time. Like this might be like one of the biggest controversies of the year. I feel like like way bigger. Like I don't think I've been like this. I've seen this much backlash towards uh you know the the industry being sh like trash since like gamergate right right it really has that same kind of energy to it but unlike gamergate which was like heavily politicized this is like a more like uh developer versus like you know like everyone in the industry versus unity and i, I really have to wonder where this is gonna go if it's gonna like th like they're already backtracking my understanding they're already like talking about like doing something else or like uh, people are saying that they misunderstood or or whatever but like there, there's like legit discussion that like Unity will not be able to recover from this backlash, right? There is legit like conversation about that. I, I have to wonder just how true it's gonna be. Like, I mean, if I was an indie dev, if I was an indie dev, I wouldn't use Unity. Like, why would I? That doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I would go with like a with another engine that doesn't try to like nickel and dime me for for something like that. That, that that's insane. I cannot believe they even tried this. It's just. It just boggles the mind. It's insane. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see, like, uh, what products will this affect. Like, by the looks of it, like, uh, the things... Um, I don't know what uses Unity. Like, I, I don't typically pay attention to game engines. Uh, but, like, I, I know it's, like, a, it's popular for indie devs. I, I'm sure, like, there are a handful of AAA products that use it. But, like, I, I do expect that a lot of developers are going to, like, make the shift to, like, uh, just, just whatever, right, to, to another you know, more viable engine, because this is just uh, unacceptable, unacceptable behavior from the, uh, from the gaming establishment. This is an example of just how, how insane these corporate, these corporate executive officials can be at times.